First off, there are countless other sites available for this project. Brown sites, previously poisoned industrial sites, even other power plants that could be retrofitted to make a lot more sense. Some are at the end of the gas line, closer to the diesel supply, closer to the bay for cooling, closer to major roadways, and already in industrialized, industrialized areas. A retrofitted plant would, would mean a longer project for the guys building it, who I'd like to address directly. Wherever they build it, and they're going to build it, you're going to build it. You're going to build it. There's no need in poisoning our town to make a project that you're not even going to last that long. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk Gina, our illustrious governor. She was all about green energy, renewables, and lessening the state's footprint. Then Goldman Sachs writes her a multi-million dollar check to spread amongst her cronies. gas, fossil fuel power plants? How is that not considered a bribe? It's crooked politics at the very least, and it, takes the, it taints the process from the top to the bottom. Yeah. Zoning. It's my understanding that the intended location isn't properly zoned. Do we get a vote on it as a town the way other towns do, or is that ripe and stripped from us? Do we, the poison well. I thought it was sealed through a court order. Never be used again except for monitoring it. Was that, when was that ruling overturned? Again, why didn't we have a say in that? They're talking about sucking millions of gallons of water from it. More than it ever had to produce. This will absolutely affect the aquifer, lowering well levels in an area possibly running shallow wells dry. Has that possibility been investigated? Is there a plan for when it happens? MBTE, they want to evaporation cool with tainted water. That means concentrated MBTE being released as steam, raining down on our homes, our gardens, campgrounds, our reservoirs. A known carcinogenic deliberately sprayed into the air. That's ridiculous. ridiculous. Then, there's a sem then there's the semi-cleaned, mostly filtered water being dumped in the river. Who decided it was safe? Advantage? For monitoring air, soil, and water quality by an unbiased third party, there should be an escrow account set up, paid into by Invenergy, to cover those costs of the expected life of the power plant. Diesel fuel, 2 million gallons stored on site, trucked in 10,000 gallons at a time, 200 tankers per fill up, through town, down country roads. They want the ability to run for 60 days on diesel as backup fuel. We're not stupid. Everyone here knows that if the market fluctuates enough to make running diesel more profitable, they're going to run for 60 days. <laughs> They'll burn the 2 million gallons in less than 3 days. That means 40 million gallons of trucked in over 60 days. That's 4,000 tankers through a town, 67 a day, 7 days a week for 2 months. What increased pollution between the plant and those trucks? Has anyone looked into that? Uh, there are more. There are more than half a million truck accidents yearly. 70% on rural roads, 13% involve hazardous materials. That's 38,000 accidents that cause environmental damage, making it all but inevitable that we suffer a spill. Think about our roads in the winter. In fact, you couldn't care less about it. It's on the trucker's insurance, not theirs. They have no responsibility for cleanup or remediation. They'll just call in another truck. There's probably not even a plan in place. This should be studied and another escrow account should be shut up to cover an expected 10,000 gallon diesel spill. That brings me to ammonia. 40,000 gallons of one of the most toxic sub substances stored on site, trucked in on the same roads. Is there even an emergency plan? Is there even an evacuation plan? None. There are hires Now here's a simple practical question. Which crumbling piece of crap bridge are they gonna drive over? Road damage, whether it's the states, states' roads and the towns' roads, they're going to be destroyed from the construction alone, never mind while it's operating. There could be 3,000 trucks during construction, the possibility of another 4,000 every winter if they run diesel. Again, there should be an escrow account set up for the multiple repavings that will be needed during the lifetime of this thing. Let's talk remediation. When they idle this plant in 20, 25 years, is there any plan to dismantle it or return it back to woodlands? Or are we just stuck with a poisonous, rusting eyesore.
The cost of remediation should be studied, and, fun and funds should be paid upfront by Invenergy and escrow. Bravo, your time's up. Let's just wrap it up. We already know they're untrustworthy. That was blatantly obvious with their deliberately misleading ad for the last meeting. As for 24 full-time jobs, who here knows how to run a power plant? Not me. I don't. I don't. Let's not pretend they're local hires. And let's not kid ourselves when they say any benefit from whether tax money is, get, is 